love me. If I reach out for help, they going to be there. They not going to ask no questions. And it's genuine. They got my back and I have theirs. That's bigger than any bag. Okay? Because that's shit you can't buy. Okay, so who gives a fuck you keep using her trauma as a flex? Let me tell you real quick um, what Petty said. And then for me, I don't compare my bag to anybody else's bag. You know why? Because somebody else's bag will never do something for me. So I have to get out here and earn my own bag. While I'm sitting here, I'm mining cryptocurrency. And I'm also providing oversight into other transactions on the internet. Listen, dog. I'll never compare my bag to somebody else's bag. Because at the end of the day, when I get ready to pay these bills, Leola bag ain't finna come over here and pay not a bill for me. If I'm pocket watching her, then that means somebody robbing me on the back end. I gotta watch my own bag. So you don't compare your bag to nobody else's bag. Because you're gonna always come up short. That bag, that car, that house, that relationship, that family, that belong to somebody else. And when you run around comparing yourself to other people, you're always going to come up short. Now, cool vibe, you sitting in here, if you ain't Leola or Scholar, you sitting in here bragging on somebody else's bag. I'm going to need you to throw up your portfolio, though, because what your shit look like. They ain't got no bag. That's why they watching George Foreman bag. That's how they know, <laughs> that's how they know his bag put in our bag, because they watching his bag and <laughs> our bag. That mean you ain't got no bag, you broke bitch. Wait. But can I just say that nobody, nobody's even pocket watching Leola. Like I saw that comment, and, like nobody's pocket watching. The thing is, like I, I, like I'm on Leola's side, right? But I was sitting there riding for Leola. I tried to say a few things in the comments yesterday. Somehow today, I, I do not mod for Leola anymore. I'm not sure what happened. Um, you a darky. One. I told you what happened. Number <laughs> number two, last night, Leola, you did say that you you buy a lot of you bought a lot of products and you spent a lot of money. I'm not sure if you feel entitled because it doesn't matter. Like you can support without expecting anything back. So that was a, a weird comment to <sighs> say. So that's why I'm trying to say like there's a lot of shit that you say, <laughs> Leola, that does not make sense with what you're saying with what now you're let me, yeah let me address that okay now leola has supported row collection she had her dad to give a shout out and i'm very appreciative for that i will not take that away from her because i thank anybody that supports row collection but row collection you spending a couple hundred dollars does not excuse you coddling somebody that sat up and called me a month mm -hmm. and i watched you do that Money does not mean more to me than morals and ethics. You not to change the subject, I want face. to show y'all this. I just want to show y'all this real quick. Remember when your boy said he don't have Snapchat? Well, here's his link tree. What is that right there? Snapchat. Okay, I rest my case. So, so just because you spend money with me, that does not excuse anything. Okay, I'm not that kind of person. I can't be bought. That sh that that should show you that it's not about the money for me. You're not going to play in my face and just because, oh, you go and make a purchase, then, oh, I'm going to let it slide. No, that's not how that that's not how I work. Maybe you've been around other people that they let you play in their face as long as you give them a couple of dollars here. You take them to dinner there. You know what I'm saying? Other people might let you get away with that, but I'm not that type of person. So, yeah, I thank her for the money that she spent with Row Collection. I thank her for having her dad, you know, give that shout out. I'm not going to take that away from her. But the rest of the stuff is bullshit. Daddy, shout out the llamas, Leola. Like, okay, Petty done. Petty done. She ain't messing with you, but I'll take a shout out for the llamas. Tell, tell daddy, sh sh tell him, tell him, shout us out. Tell him we, uh, we do Intel on the internet. We make funny videos about blaze and, um, we troll people. So tell him we like you, but it's more of us. That's all I got. Wait a minute. So now, wait a minute. So Leola said in the comment, I use Leola because that's her troll account. I don't care what y'all say. So now I don't use Leola. Used her for what? 
too, because, baby, I be using that greasy body butter. I be so greasy. My thighs, because, you know, my thighs rub together because I'm a big one. You my thighs stupid. be like, sloosh, sloosh, sloosh. You I put really it on the inside stupid. of my thighs. Now my thighs light skin on the inside. They be like, sloosh, sloosh, sloosh. <laughs> I bet you ain't going to start no photo now, is <laughs> Baby, I'm out here. Me and Skylar, little soft boy head baby. I'm out, sloosh, sloosh. You stupid. Child, I said I don't use Leola. I'm trying to figure out how. Let me use you. Shout out the llamas so that way I can get one of these merchants to work with us. Tell, tell daddy to shout us out. Like, come on, man. I need, you know, daddy say something. If daddy say something about us, man, we can sell a whole bunch of t shirts and then I'll be able to afford my bills. Since somehow scholars seem to think. Innocent and mop the concrete to see what's going on. <laughs> Gambino said, I'm just here to be innocent. If daddy shout us out, then I can afford my bills. I can feed the llamas. I can do a lot. So, Petty, 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 don't be unappreciative. Don't be unappreciative. I, I, I did say thank you. <laughs> well, can you call George and ask him to shout the llamas out so I can get, get me George out blocked me. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, I'm hollering, not George <laughs> George Block me. <laughs> you know Leola took his, <laughs> Listen, you know Leola took his jitterbug and blocked my number. You know Le he took oh, his jitterbug wow. and blocked my number. Oh, okay. I right. can't call him no more. Wait a minute. <gasps> You got blocked by a celebrity, Petty. That make you a celebrity, too. You might as well go live with Soldier Boy and be fighting with him at this point. Not with Soldier Boy. I think him and Scholar got their teeth done at the same place. <laughs> Scholar went in there and said, give me the Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> give me that you. <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 I'm a be on myself. I'm a be on myself. You yeah. Yeah, he went straight up in there. Give me that you. Yes, scholar mouth. That scholar mouth is the yule. Yep. Hey y'all, that's it. Hashtag scholar mouth is the yule. Like they was running around saying John T was the babysitter. Scholar mouth is the yule. Yeah. Yep. All, the, all the celebrities be over here. Yeah, I see Soldier Boy on here, but yeah, I think Leo uh, Leora took George Jitterbug and blocked me. Leo, oh. Le Leola, did you block Petty on Mr. Foreman's account? We need to take this to court because Petty should not be blocked. You're making Petty a celebrity because that is a claim. Anytime a celebrity block you, Leola, you know how this works. That's a claim to fame. I got blocked by Kevin Hart because I kept asking him to pay my student loans off. You stupid. I did. I went right up in this live and was like, what you got on my student loans? <laughs> they said, block. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back on my other llama account. They blocked me again. <laughs> Damn. Gotcha. Hey, y'all. Stay out of Kevin Hart lives. They not llama friendly. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he got all that money. He can pay a couple of little something, something on my student loans. Stop playing. Dude, you talk about the community. I'm the community. Pay my damn student loans off. You're making too much money. That man be making money on goofy movies. Dumb movies. Yeah, they do be real goofy. Oh, oh no, Patty. That's an Android ringtone. No, it is not. That is an iPhone. That, ew, that's why George blocked you. Shut your ass. <laughs> Shit, he heard yeah. that ringtone. He said, I can't have this riff raff around. Well, baby, you need both of them. <laughs> Got the same ringtone. <laughs> Y'all, we, we can't stand for this. We can't let Petty be blocked like riff raff. She ain't even do nothing. Leola, get in this box. Get in this box and explain why you took what you said a jitterbug. Yeah. To is that that old people phone with two buttons? Yes, off? yes. You got to program the numbers in under number one, Leora, number two, home, <laughs> number three. And then all the rest of them is George's. Yeah, George, yeah. George, George, yeah. George, 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 and George. That's it. I think that's cute, though. When he said that, when he did that commercial and had all them George's, I thought it was cute. Yeah, it is cute. It, cute. it really, really is. And you know what? To be on the fast side, I watched. Okay, so when we went on the cruise in January, 
I think. What? No. No, it was when we went on the Virgin Voyages cruise last year in August or September, whichever one it was. I watched the George Foreman movie while we was on the ship. It actually was a good movie. I actually liked it. I liked it too. I watched it. Yeah. I watched it. Yeah. He, he, it. he always seemed like he wanted to do something for the community. It's just other people wasn't. They was in it for themselves, just like they do all of our celebrities. They get in it for themselves and start lining their own pockets. Right. Because like, they, uh, don't, they don't know. If you ain't never had no money, then you don't know how to how to watch it. Manage it. Control. Right. 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 So, yeah, people be getting over on black people like that all the time. And it always seem to be somebody white in the mix somewhere. I'm just saying, no offense to my white people, but, you know, it always... Them be the ones that, that, yeah. you, that we go, because our people, but thank goodness that's changing. Back yeah. in the day, they wouldn't let our people in finances. They wouldn't let our people in banking. But now we got our own people we can go to for financial planning. But you got to watch them, too. Money yeah. turn everybody green. You only don't trust nobody with your money. You watch your own money. You hire somebody to watch the person that's watching your money, and then you watch that person you hire. They should, be, if you got that type of money, it should be like American Gangster, where they sit down with you every day and go over your numbers. Remember, Denzel sat down every day and went over his numbers. Yeah, just like Bumpy Johnson did. You watch people because yeah. money turn everybody green. Now, Leola, you coming in here to explain why you blocked? She is not coming in here. Still here. Yeah, she's still here. She, baby, she gonna forever be here. She in here probably on three different accounts. She is gone forever. Talking spicy to you, spicy to me, and spicy to chase the No, nah, she talking spicy <laughs> to me, spicy to chase the pillows, and spicy to her <laughs> damn self. <laughs> That's how she be getting over, be trying to play the victim, cause she be in there um talking shit to herself. Scholar door dash, and he ain't came back. <laughs> he at Burger King right now. <laughs> you can't see over the steering wheel. How you have a booster seat in the driver's seat? He sit on that little pillow for him, Royce. <laughs> With the butt out, with the <laughs> I'm finna go, yeah, with the little circle for the butt out. Yeah, you, know you got him, Roy. Short people get him, Roy. <laughs> I'm finna, finna curse me out. No, nah, I'm just trying to think. Have I ever had him, Roy? I'm just trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna go play on his Snapchat. <laughs> not, not gonna play on the chat chat. Now I'm here on Snapchat, he is out here, y'all. Scholar is an influencer. I just want y'all to know that Scholar is an influencer. We overlook the skill and talent that Scholar don't have. <laughs> well, I guess I guess him and Blaze is the same thing. Both of them is influencers. <laughs> they influencers. Oh, Blaze should put Scholar on his net. <laughs> oh, that might be good. I wonder what his show will be about. Me. <laughs> So is it gonna be? A, it could be about his beat. music career. He might come out with a new album. Child, it, that dog on. Yeah, let him do that. Blaze whole network is gonna end up crashing and. Burning. Hey y'all. What's up? Hey, hey, Mr. Messy. Now y'all, y'all know Leo ain't gonna come up here. It's too much happiness. It's too much light. It's too much. You know, she don't operate from a happy place. It got to be some dark, sadistic shit. So yeah, she ain't gonna come up here. Y'all laughing too much. Y'all laughing too much. It's too happy. It's too much getting along. You know, she don't know how to operate in that space. I wonder if George Foreman know that she's on here um ruining his legacy like that. Like just uh Well, I really don't think she ruining his legacy. I mean, this her own legacy. We know George. We know George. She's a nobody, but I'm just saying on here and act like this. We know that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he. They approve. I don't think they user, approve. User, user, user. Uh, two one zero two six five zero one six said Omar. Yes, you go, girl. Okay. Yes, boo boo. I'm going. You stupid. Y'all some stupid yeah. bitches on here. Y'all just so stupid. You would know a big dick if you seen one. Anyway, um, I told you that's, yeah. that's Leora, honey. That is her on that troll account. I am obsessed with the fact yeah, that Yeah, but I'm just saying, for real, can't. have y'all noticed that some people really don't like, you see how y'all just up here laughing and I'm just loving it and we down here, ha, ha, ha. They really don't like that on TikTok. They don't like when people are happy. They don't know Holy how to bitch. operate. 
they don't know how to operate from a place of happiness. It got to be some drama, mean shit or some bullshit for them. They just want to be a victim so bad. Yeah, you right. Why Scarlett got his mama dress on? <laughs> it's some church shoes for me, child. So he got on his mama dress and his daddy's shoes. <laughs> y'all funny. Okay, I'll be back. Y'all finna finish eating this banana split. I'll holler at y'all. Bye. <laughs> I'm just, I just don't know why none of this happened. I don't know why any of this happened. I don't know why he did this. Now, y'all think y'all can reason with somebody that walk around with them church shoes on with that dress, not them shoes with that dress child. Not them shoes with that, at least do some open toed sandals or something. You cannot wear that dress. With them shoes, Leo. This, what do his feet look like? Do he got cute toes? I mean, I know they live. He probably wear about a size three in toddlers. Is his is his toes cute, Leora? I'm trying. Y'all to looking, say. y'all looking at street scholar dressed as a um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all looking at Street Scholar. Apparently, this belonged to TV Head. <laughs> oh, TV Head did it. Yeah, he put this. <laughs> that whole mm. TV Head Scholar stuff was crazy, man. I cannot believe that man pulled up to that man mama house. That was wild. I'm looking for brushing my teeth and I can't find it. Leola, I got a serious question for you. How do you feel knowing that you the you one of the main reasons that Scala is out here acting the way that he act and that you were actively participating with him? Like how how does that make you feel knowing that now you on his list? The same thing that y'all did to people together, He's he now to does to you. Mm-hmm. How does how does how do you really feel about that? Do you cry on the inside? Yeah, I can follow me on Bigo. I got 26 friends, I think. Feel free to follow me on Bigo. <laughs> now y'all follow me on Bigo. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Bigo too. Yeah, I've been on Bigo. I, fo- I think I followed, tried to follow you, Petty. I found Trip. I found. I can't find Jaunty though. So y'all feel free to follow me on Bigo since I like to. I'm going to take. Uh, Street, I'm gonna take street scholar over to Bigo. <laughs> baby, they be cutting up over there. But every time I go over there, it's booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Rockin it everywhere. do, <laughs> it do be, and I be, I be trying to X out so fast because they'll just throw you in alive. <laughs> yeah, they do, they'll and they just... tell you come up as soon as you slip in there. Yeah, they'll just okay. throw you in there. Bigo live, I slipped in there for a few minutes. Triple's live on Bigo. So it's just like my main page, just like my IG, Cutie Power One. Y'all feel free to follow. Mm, 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 mm. Leola, you ain't gonna answer. I'm waiting. Nope. Leola said, not all. <laughs> I bet she cry on the inside. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. afternoon. What's up? Hey, Cutie. I- I have a commercial break. So I, either way you feel about it, this is just information. I ain't telling nobody to go vote for TikTok or try to save TikTok, but this for informational purposes only. The House floor will vote on H.R. 7521 this week. We are expecting it to pass both the House and the Senate since it is a bipartisan legislation and Joe Biden has said he will sign it. In that legislation, and most people are not talking about this, they're just talking about the fact that TikTok will be banned. Um, In this legislation, once Joe Biden signs it into law, that is when the clock starts ticking. ByteDance will have 180 days to divest uh, TikTok to an American company. What does that mean for us as creators? That means we have six months to migrate our following to the platform of our choosing. They got six months, 180 days. So I'm just putting that out there so everyone is aware whether you want to save TikTok or not. This is still important information to know. That's all I had. Thank you for letting me up. Thank you. Mm. That's a mess. I mean, what me, myself personally, if they choose not to follow whatever the United States say to do, 
It's all gravy. Y'all know y'all can follow follow me on IG, um, YouTube, and Bigo. I don't have X. I don't have Twitter though because they um sold Twitter to Elon, and I don't agree with his business practices. So I'm I left X. I left Twitter. But I'm on YouTube, I'm on IG, and I'm on uh, Bigo. I've been on Bigo though. Yeah, I didn't it's know nothing about Bigo. I just I just did my account yesterday, and I see you can't follow but about fifty people a day. Like that's, yeah. that's bogus. Yeah, that's why I think that's why I might have it wouldn't let me. I think I hit the follow button. I'll look again. This is my uh, Bigo, y'all. Cutie Pie O One, just like my main page. And then I'm Kappa Dappa on YouTube and Cutie Power One on IG. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about Bigo. I just kept, you know, Granny Core Bundy kept hollering about Bigo. I never went over there because I thought it was some bullshit if she was on it. Um, so I never did look into it. Now my IG is private. Um, but if I know you, like I know you from TikTok. I'll approve it, <clears throat> but I have to. I have to get the scourge off of my IG. I have to get blazing them off my IG, and we'll go live. And you don't need no fo- you don't need no following to go live on IG. I love it. I mean, on uh, on IG or on uh, Bigo. Bigo, you can have zero. Yeah, you can come up in the box, have smoke, curse. They don't. Bigo don't care. Bigo do not care, except for Randy Gillis. Somehow he got banned. He said he got banned because his glasses were so thick that Bigo thought those was breasts. So they Oh my god. I don't believe that, but that's what he said. They might have thought he was trying to hack the system with them glasses. <laughs> he was trying to read their algorithm. He, he got uh, banned. I was like, bro. <laughs> my um uh, my Bigo is Petty Space Row. There's a space in between Petty Row. I have to post it. I post my thing on my page. What, girl? Yeah, let me. Wait a minute. It's some shit going down. I think I'll be back. Where? See, you always do that. You don't tell us where. Find out. I'll come back. All right. I don't know. Um, it looked like Chasing just left me to hope. Chasing, get back over here and get your live. What's going on, Miss Thing? Hey, Kappa Babe. How are you? Hey, babe. What's up with you? I'm chilling, man. Just had a little. A little fun this morning with Street uh with Scholar because I took his street. So now I'm known as Street Kappa Dapple. And that's period. Hey, Chase and Pillows. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> hold on real quick because I know he in here, so I just got a little uh if y'all can make me to the big screen for like two seconds. Because I just got a little message <clears throat> that I want to let out there. Cause I know he ain't here still watching. Chasing and ran off. Chasing, are you still there, baby? Make her the big screen. Chasing, Chasing like I'm left tired. Me over, left me over. They lied and dipped. <laughs> how you going? How, how, she gone to the grocery store. Ain't no super miles over here. There we go. Oh, shit. My face be big as hell. Now y'all know y'all wrong. <laughs> Mine too. Well, I know y'all wrong. <laughs> no makeup, eyes all tired looking. This play, Jane. Okay, I can't even talk about nobody yet. But um, okay. So, Scola. So when I was on Peach Live yesterday, you decided to write this on my video or my picture, I should say. Let's just say, what the fuck do that mean? I'm on whatever you want, and if that means that I need to give you my address. Bookie butt. Ain't, look, ain't no worries this way. Ain't no motherfucking worries, okay? Come to Detroit. Make sure you come polite or come whatever you want because, I, I mean... Don't go to Detroit. Don't go to Detroit. What, what, I, what he, I'm just trying to figure out, like, was that a threat and then with the little kissy face trying to be funny? Oh, I'm hilarious. So what, what you trying to do? What you trying to... Oh, he in Jersey. Mm-hmm. I already know he in Jersey. That's why he weak as hell. If I need to come to Jersey, I'm quick to catch motherfucking flights. And like I tell people, I'm not all the way healed yet. So stop bothering me. Stop bothering me. I'm not healed. I'm working on it, but I ain't there yet. So with that being said, Skull, I know you here. So if you can message me your address or you want my address, however you want to do it. I mean, we can make the exchange. But that's all I have to say. Thank you, Kappa. See y'all. 
It, baby, yeah, you welcome, baby. Yeah, don't trip off him. That's what he does. That is what Kappa, Kyle do. Kappa, That's respectfully. <clears throat> I fight Negroes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is, hey, I'm from the Midwest too, baby. I'm in Illinois. Trust me when I tell you, I know. Hey, it ain't nothing to bang out with no dude. Matter of fact, I don't even fight. I haven't had a fight with a woman in forever. I will bang out oh. with a dude though. Like, don't play and with me, dog. Like, and if I can't, I'm very much licensed, okay? Exactly. Respectfully. Respectfully. I'm going to try to de-escalate, though, first. But in the Midwest, oh, no, bro, let me tell you something. It, it get cold. We be trapped up in the house. Hey, uh, you brother, cousin, man off the street, you try me, I'm going to bang out with you. I'm, I'm going to rock out with my cock out, period. Try period me. point blank. Period I, point I told blank. That dude, that he don't want. He don't want none of the STL. He don't want none of Detroit. He don't want none of Chicago. We built different in the Midwest. The Midwest do hit differently. Hey, and it dude. wasn't nothing back in the day to be fighting dudes on the bus. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, I will bang out with you. Stop it. That, but that dude ran when TV had pulled up to his house. Uh huh. He ran like that was his opportunity to face that man face to face, and he didn't do it. I'm just saying, like, and I'm not bragging on what TV had did. All I'm saying is, take it as a threat. Take it how you want. Do as you please. Get your lawyers because I got mine. But don't threaten me. I don't take threats lightly. I'm a mother first, okay? I don't take threats lightly. So whatever you want, I'm on to ten times harder. That's all. All that like I'm gonna talk. try to do is go live and put your information out in front of fifteen people and talk about make stuff up and lie on you, lie on your family, lie on your kids, lie on your your husband, man, boyfriend, significant other. That's all he do. Don't nobody listen to him and don't nobody take him serious. <laughs> I wish he would. You know what? I'm a stay at home mom, Kappa. So I wish he would get my address. So, cause I've been needing some friends over here. I'd be bored. Okay. So <laughs> do as you please. Do as you please. Let's eat some other crab legs and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he gonna do. Like he he do that stuff. Like everybody's supposed to be like, ooh. If somebody really wants you, they are going to come for you. Mm -hmm. He didn't done, done this too many times for people to even think that this man is serious about any of the stuff that he kick out. Like, and then for my husband, and be like, who the fuck is that? Oh, no, you done effed up, nah. You done effed up, nah, honey, because, whoo, child. But let me get up off here. Let me see if he damn me yet, because I know he watching. <laughs> I know he watching. I'm with all that. <laughs> all that plus more, okay? <laughs> but see you, Kappa. Okay, baby. <laughs> He gonna put he gonna put Miss Thing in rotation. <laughs> Chasing, come back and get your live, child. I got to go. You, you tell that person to go and do what they gonna do. They taking too long to make a decision. Now y'all on the phone that long, you're lying. If you on the phone that long, that long, you're lying. Tell that man or whoever you talking to, come on. I got people sitting on this live. You got four hundred people in here, and then you done left me. And I, I'm done talking about street style. I'm going to start playing this music. I'm looking for that. Brushing my teeth. Br brushing my teeth. I can't. The one he was it. sitting on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen. So, Cartel is over there talking about Heartbreaker and Mike DeVoice. So, apparently, he thought that they was dating. And, baby, Heartbreaker done lived up to her name. Now, he all heartbroken, talking about he's going to take a break off of TikTok. Because he done fell in love. And they say he done gave her some money. <gasps> and I don't know how true that is. He wouldn't let me up where well, I requested in the box. But he didn't let me up. I was going to ask how did they know for sure if he gave her money. Which we know that's what she do. She get the mints and get the money. We know that's what she do. So it's not too far fetched. But okay, they were saying that he gave her some money or whatever. And baby, he is heartbroken, baby. Mike the voice? Yes. 
Oh no, my no. He was on there gushing and blushing, talking about my queen. My queen is in here, y'all. Let me tell you, she make me wanna be a better person. She make me wanna be a better man. I was like, oh baby, she finna run your motherfucking pockets. You talking like that? Oh, this finna be an easy mark. Cause oh that lady goodness. ain't did nothing but grin in your face and show you probably some little titty meat. And Ooh. yeah, baby, he he. I seen a video on his page the other day, and I knew what it was immediately. Okay, let me go over here and look at this video. Oh my no! They say he had some videos up, maybe of her, but he done took them down. And. <laughs> Yeah, what Danny V at? He like Danny V. Danny V, go console him, honey. Um, yeah, I like Mike. I like Mike. I like him. That's unfortunate. Um, so she over there with Cartel, and Cartel wouldn't let you. No, up. she ain't. She not over there. Cartel just got a panel, and mm -hmm. it was it's a whole bunch of different people over there. But they talking about it. She not in the panel though. Yeah, I do believe, honestly, he is a good guy. Wait a minute, who the fuck is that? Who is what? Oh, it's a push a llama. Oh, that's that troll page that we told you about. Oh, I, Kappa. Yes, I don't be remembering. You know I don't. Um, you tell me to block somebody, I just go on in and block them. I don't be paying no attention like no. that to be remembering no names. Oh my goodness, Patty, we gotta get you some uh what's that ginkgo biloba or something? <laughs> some memory. So, yeah, that's that one that was running around. Everybody was like, is it a pusher or is it a llama? Is it well, a pusher? You no, know, wait, listen. If you was a real pusher, you can look at that the the information in the bio and tell that's not a real pusher. Well, they got shop row collections. <laughs> It's row collection. <laughs> Ain't no S. S. And yeah, it's PP four L. Where the other P at? If you a real pusher, you would have caught on to that and know that's not a real pusher. Come on now. <laughs> Not Patty over here putting it out there. Hold up, Patty. Hold up. Patty said, uh uh, that ain't one of my stinks. Yeah. Y'all come get y'all llama. <laughs> that ain't us. I promise that ain't us. Mm -mm, that ain't us either. Oh, here it go. Silent, silent went found it. Y'all know silent don't be playing. Y'all know silent don't be playing. Yeah. Oh, Mike, so what we gonna do for Mike? We gonna do something to lift him up? We ain't finna do a motherfucking thing. Somebody, I'm sure somebody tried to tell him that lady finna take your money and she gonna put, uh, uh, what they say, uh, uh, ran off on the plug. She gonna run off on the plug. Hey, y'all, uh, I don't think Patty saw my comment, but I did talk to Mike the other day, just so y'all know he is okay. Um, okay. Just so y'all know, like, he, he, he alright, but yeah, I told him pick your motherfucking face up off the floor and glue it back together and maybe take a, a, him I a got couple some of weeks. E6, I got some E6000. Probably take a, a couple of weeks or so off the app or whatever, but he good. Uh, he did text me back this morning and told okay. him that he was good because I, I checked on him or whatever the other day, the next day. I think it was Friday. He had texted me and say, hey, I need somebody to talk to you, but he is good. He is okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, but I did tell him, I'm like, bro, like, we all trying to tell your ass, like, she do this shit for a living. She needs to write a book and sell that motherfucker. Yeah, she probably could make saying. a real good, good little, good little coin off of that. Yeah, but he right. is good. Like, just so y'all know, he all right, he good. All mm -hmm. right, I'm at, I have to take my ass mm -hmm. to the urgent care because I don't know what I got. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, you got I mean, her now. COVID. I don't know. It might be, I might have got, because my niece had RSV like a couple mm -hmm. weeks back, but I tried to stay away from her, but you know she wasn't going to let stay up at my face. So I don't know if it's that, or if I got COVID, or if I got the flu. Grown people can get RSV? Yeah, mm -hmm. grown people get RSV, and especially by me having um, asthma, but I ain't had an asthma attack in years. But by me having that underlying, like, by me having mm -hmm. that, I have to make sure that I'm okay, and especially for like, my parents, because they be having Madison, and my mama got COPD, so I really can't be sick around her. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, it make yeah. us sick. It make they well, you can have it and then either one or two things gonna happen. You got it and don't know you got it, and then you passing it to people, little babies and kids, they can get yeah. really sick, or you get it and you can be put down on your back for a while. It depends on your Yeah, because if you if you have it and you grown and you thinking that you just have a cold and you pass it to one of the babies, because one of my friends, she's an RN here in Chicago, and she was like, the hospital is overflowing with the itty bitty babies that got RSV. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like, and it'd be bad for them because they can't breathe. Yeah. So y'all, please, if y'all don't feel so good, go get yourself checked, call the doctor or something. My doctor wasn't available, so I had to come to the ER. Yeah, I'll be good. I just want to feel them better. I will. I'm about to make me another order, Patty, because Madison stole my other. I ordered two body butters, and she stole one. Talk about, ooh, this this lady, uh, Patty Bro, did her her big one with this. Uh, well, yeah, I'm supposed to be up at the shop now. My fragrances and stuff came in for me to re up because I think I'm sold out of everything. So low key, kiss the kiss the yeah. thickest part of my thick asshole. The overshare got me bite my nails. Kiss my asshole. Okay. Not so silly. Kiss but my yeah, asshole. I have I bye really y'all. speak on everything. Okay, bye y'all. I just want to make sure I know. Okay. I know um, it, it still bad. don't equate to you've been coming for me all day in these goddamn comments. Wait till I feel better. Drag your ass out that day. Yeah, I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> they put a whole bunch of trolls and some smoke. <laughs> I'm gone. Man, we get we've been getting trolled all day. Hey, Crystal. So so petty. Um hmm. now that you know we running this live because chasing pillows and left us. Mm -hmm. Mike and God play. Mm -hmm. Can you can you text your brother and tell him come on up here so we hey, can get foot no. I'm so tired of you disrespecting your brother Petty. Now that was funny. <laughs> and he was live. And I slipped in there and he was like, okay, y'all, I'm about to get off. I'm no, not I'm talking. not up to no shenanigans. Like you see, I done slept in today. I ain't even went live on my own page. I I'm tired as hell. Y'all done ran me ragged this weekend. I'm tired. I ain't got time for his shenanigans. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean, y'all done ran? You not, now you was in every corner of TikTok <laughs> fighting all we you was fighting for my life. For y'all, so I could get all the information. I did that for y'all. Petty. Ain't nobody tell you to go in every box and get the information you just I, I need it firsthand. I need it firsthand. Fighting. I can't even remember who you was fighting with. Who was it this weekend? Everybody. <laughs> Petty Row versus everybody. <laughs> I'll fight with every damn body. Who was it? Wait a minute. Nah, it's a big Oh, 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 I remember. It's Trina. Y'all been on. Oh, oh, yeah. Have that yeah. calmed down? Have all of y'all calmed down? Have everybody calmed down? I mean, I ain't said nothing about her today. They was talking about her last night, but... I ain't said nothing about her today, honey. I'm I'm done. I done said what I had to say. They said she was over there crying last night with 52 people in her live. Talking about, can I get 20 people to give $20 or some shit, they were saying. Um, mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. She got to she gotta move. Don't she got to move, like, within the next couple of days? Yeah, she I think she got to the 18th, and then they gone filed the eviction so she'll probably stay through the eviction process to the very last minute they say she admitted that her name is not on the lease i don't know how true that is i haven't got no screen recording but they say she admitted that she not on the lease which we already knew that okay we already knew that so i might she... tell you a joke but i never tell you a lie i told y'all that girl was not on that lease okay so she need a place to go within the next week. Yeah, pretty much. But she got all them evictions. So she can't get no apartment on her own. And now that people know that somebody got this apartment in their name for her and she done did bad by it, ain't nobody else that she know gonna get no apartment in her name. So I don't know what she gonna do. She done burned all her bridges. She talking about getting an Airbnb. Um... But Airbnb is a lot of money. I don't care. I done looked up even some like little studio apartment things that's doing Airbnb. 
and it's a lot of money. She gonna have to go to an extended stay hotel. I did find one in her area that was like fifteen hundred dollars for twenty nine days. That ain't bad. So no, that's not, and it come with a. I think it came with a microwave and a refrigerator. She just have to go to Walmart get her one of them little them little two eye burner thing. What you call them thing? A uh, hot plate. Yeah, mm -hmm. get her one of them and she'll be straight. They even had continental breakfast every morning. So you wouldn't have to worry about breakfast. Y'all go down there, get y'all load up on fruit and some cereal and get you a, a big cup of milk, put it in the refrigerator, eat, eat damn cereal throughout the day and fix you a quick little meal on the hot plate in the evening. So, I mean, but she don't want to do that. She want to live in luxury. On somebody I guess else's probably, money. The way I would see it is she want to do that because she probably want her daughter to have a you know room and space. But so if she you ain't got it. no damn job, you got to take what you can get and be frugal with the money that people have given you. So you want to spend twenty eight hundred dollars on a real nice Airbnb when you can still have a nice room at the extended stay. Y'all can have two separate beds. Y'all will just be in the same room. It's better than you being homeless, ain't it? You yeah. ain't got no car to sleep in. But well, she can't sleep in no car with no baby. That's but I'm saying, you know. but yeah. I'm saying, you'd right. rather spend twice as much money on the Airbnb than take the money that people already gave you and have two months in an extended stay while you look for a job, hopefully. That's right. And and get back on your feet. Like, that's dumb to me. That's stupid. I understand that you want your child to have your own room. But, bitch, you struggling right now. Talking about, I guess I just got too used to other people money. Bitch, is you dumb? What kind of shit is that? I got hey. used to other people money. Did, she, did somebody tell you she said that? that I'm no, like she said it. I heard it. I was, I was, I snuck off in her live. She said, if I had known the money was going to dry up this quick, I would have saved some. It always do. If you're not earning it. That's why most uh, lottery winners end up back broke again. Because they can't they can't manage because they're not used to that type of money. Anytime you get a windfall or you get a decent amount of money, uh, if you don't manage it correctly, yeah, it's going to end up drying up. That's why we see people stuck in a cycle of poverty with income tax checks. They get an income tax return check. They go buy a car that ain't quite right. By the time the end of the year come, that car done broke down. They, they can't afford to repair it. So they end up going buy another car with the next income tax check, you know, stuff like that. They end up getting all kind of tickets, can't get their plates, can't carry insurance. It's just it's a cycle of poverty. And that's what we need to educate people on is how to manage the money that you do get. So that way you can live at your level because everybody has a different level of living, a different standard. So I know I can't afford a Maybach. I, I, that just ain't going to happen. I can't afford the car with the little curtain where I can close the dryer, driver off. I, I would ne now if I went and I levied everything I got and said, give me this car. They might give me a used one, right? And I mean super used. But then I can't afford the maintenance on that thing. I can't afford the driver that you need to have. One of them you drive yourself and one of them you get driven. I think it's the Rolls Royce you can drive yourself and then the Maybach you're supposed to be driven in. I can't afford it. You know, I can look at it. I can't afford a Jacobs. You know, I can look at them. Jacobs email me. I block Jacob. Jacob, don't you ever email me again. That watch is $350,000. I can't afford I, I live in something that costs that much. I can't afford that. I'm going to be homeless with a nice watch. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm humble. I'm humble. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the fact that I can keep food in the house, toilet paper, a little bit of a struggle. I vacuum cleaners is a little bit of a struggle. I don't know why my family chew through vacuum cleaners like this. Vacuum cleaners is a struggle. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand. I'm humble. Y'all, for real. Like, listen to me. I woke up this morning. I said, I'm going to go to this refrigerator. And I'm going to look and see what's in there. And if it ain't nothing in there, for lunch today, I'm eating a sandwich. Okay? A sandwich. Now, what kind of sandwich that's going to be going to be determined on what type of meat 
sitting in that bad boy because it might just be a cheese sandwich. Like I know, baby, a, a good grilled cheese, baby. You can't beat that. Scholar said I'm fat. I might not have no bread. We living like bachelors in this mug, okay? We living, we living rough. Petty, you got kids that go to school, they come home hungry. I ain't got all that. I, you hoes get what you get. If it's soup and one slice of bread, you better toast that bread and use it like crackers. We don't be having stuff that match in this house. For real, for real. I don't neither because my family is foolish. Like they <laughs> they eat up they'll eat up all the tater chips but won't eat the hot dogs. And then when it's time to cook the hot dogs with the chili, we don't got no damn chips. Cause y'all done ate up all the chips already. Like my family do stupid shit like that. Cause I buy stuff together. Okay? And you just gonna go eat up all the chips. But you're gonna leave the hot dogs in here. Wait a minute, not you called your family foolish. They is. You stay in the grocery store too. You go a couple times a week. I do not. No, I go to the parking lot a couple times a week. <laughs> I be trying to order this shit online. Cause that's how Walmart get you. You go in there, you supposed to get a loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, and a can of pork and beans. And then you come out with sardine soup, noodles. <laughs> hey, they do. You no, come no, out, no. you come out with a jar of chicken bouillon. You come out with shit that you don't, you ain't even got nothing to fix with it. Just cause you seen it and it was on sale and you going to buy the shit. They get you like that every time y'all not finna get me. Not a jar of bullion. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> the chicken, not the beef. Ain't shit match. No, nothing matching. No, no. <laughs> you can't make a meal out of none of this shit. <laughs> hey, hey, real talk. Now, I do that all the time. I go to the store. I'll be like, okay, I'm going here with my list. And I come out with 18 billion other socks. Draws. Yeah, I told you they they know how to get you. They know how to get you. I believe they had a psychologist to um do their floor plan for their stove. They know what what people need to see on the way out to make them buy. What colors to put on the signs? They know all of it. They they be getting us. Hmm. Yeah, they be getting us. Yeah, you go in for a bottle of lotion because your elbows ashy. You come out with a pound of sugar, some tortilla chips, and some aluminum foil. That is not what you went in there for. But they get you. They going to get you, get you, get you. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm sitting up in here walking around the island in my kitchen. Because I ain't got shit to eat in here either. Now I got to figure out what I'm going to go. I got to go to the grocery store now. It's too late to uh, to do an order online. I think we might, we might do hot dogs today. That'll be something quick. Hot dogs and chips. Shout out to Petty Rowe and Kappa Dapper for hosting Chasing Pillows Live because Chasing Pillow has left y'all Toast alive, and I'm not a good host. So shout out to y'all. I just want to come through here and say that. What the hell is she at? <laughs> what the hell Chase and Pillar went to? How you just leave us in your house? See, that's how Leora like to got your shit took down earlier because you done. What, did, did she take her ass and want to go to sleep? I think she wants to win and went to damn sleep. Oh, she working. Oh. That's what I need to be doing. I need to get myself together. But I'm exhausted, though, y'all. I ain't lying. I am exhausted from all of these festivities over the weekend. I'm really, really tired. Then we was up all night last night fooling with Trip on Bigo. I guess so. Cap ass gone, too, now. I guess it's just me.
Oh, y'all know uh, Mr. Kappa love calling me when I'm on live. I swear he ain't on TikTok, but I swear he got a TikTok account. Because as soon as I hit go live or request in the box, here he got to call me 96 times. Now, he just called me to tell me he's going to heat his lunch up. Okay? Baby daddy be doing that shit too. Why they do that? Like, I don't know. Let me tell you the reasons why he called me this morning. He called me because his socks was itchy at 8.15. And asked me, did I change the fabric softener because his ankles are itching? Okay, oh, I told him that means he's going to get money. Then he called me to ask me if he left his lunch at home. And I'm like, I don't see it. Then he called me back to tell me he found the lunch because it was sitting on the seat on the side of him. Okay. Oh, my God. Then he called me back to ask me if I was live. And then I said, do you have a TikTok account? He said, no. He said, because you rushed me off the phone when I was calling about my lunch. And I was like, yes, I am live, but I'm not hosting a live. I'm in somebody else's live. Okay, so then he got off the phone. Then he called me back to ask me, if we did go to Kansas City, would it be okay to stay in one hotel over the other hotel? Now he got off the phone. Now he just called back and said he called to see if the newly built hotel was finished and it is finished. And should he look at that hotel or not. So I'm sure in between now and when I get off of here, he's going to start back at the socks because his ankle's going to start itching again. And I'm going to tell him again that means you're going to get some money. Okay. Why then don't he call back his socks? Say, huh? Why don't he just change his socks? He gone. He ain't, he ain't got no extra pair of socks. I'm going to put, thank you. Yes. I'm going to put an extra pair of socks in that dog. I'm, I'm going to put an extra pair of socks in that vehicle because I'm tired of him. I'm going to put a whole bucket of socks in there. Not yeah, a that's a good idea. I'm going to put a bucket of socks in there. They ain't going to match. They're not going to match. They're going to be church socks, but I'm putting them in there. Because if he yeah, called me one more time, I'm going to lose my shit. Then he called. Oh, and he called and said, okay, are you working? <laughs> damn, is he damn working? That's the question. <laughs> you probably you be this many times going to ask me is I'm working. Bitch, he is you lazying working. me today. Oh, man. my God. Yeah. Why baby daddy just text me, hey, what you doing? <laughs> they in cahoots. Him and Radio I promise in you they talking to each other. They gotta be. They we gonna get them two black bitches off this damn internet. <laughs> Baby, they is in cahoots, honey. <laughs> it's your turn. He just tagged uh, Uncle Baby Daddy and get their asses off the line. <laughs> I'm finna go on. I'm finna. I'm finna. I'm finna go on mute. I'm finna put all my stuff on vibrate. I had to lie. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm finna go into a meeting like right now. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. I'm working. I ain't did nothing but look that scholar discography to try to figure out what music I'm gonna use on my opening, uh, for the live. I think I'm gonna go with brushing my teeth or my Good space. Afternoon, young. Hey, so so back up, baby. What's up? Um, I was here listening to what y'all was saying about, oh girl, I went to Jamaica and you know how I, I humble myself so fast. I humble myself so fast because those, the, huh? The people that live there, they they go they go with they go with what they have. I saw this woman. She had uh you know the suitcase and that you carry. She had an open suitcase and with two kids and it was like she was excuse me, pushing it back and forth. And you know how happy those kids were? Yeah. That just that that really like thing my heart because some people here I'm not going to say no names. They don't know how hard it is for other people. If you understand what I'm saying. Right. Right. It's, it's crazy. Like they don't. She she gets what from the people. Does she get the money from the people there? But in Jamaica, they don't get. You know, you know how hard it is for, the, for them to get. Um. Man, I don't even know how to explain it because it hurt my heart so bad. I humbled yeah, myself I so fast. Fast. I seen a 
about Haiti where they was making uh <clears throat> I think they like a cookie type thing out of mud. Is he I don't think it's Jamaica, I think it's Haiti. But they use like a mud and it's it's don't really have no nutritional value. So the people was trying to figure out because that's what they have to eat to get through meat, you know, to the next meal to just put something in their stomach. So the people's trying to figure out if they could maybe make a potter supplement to put in the, the mud mixture that they make these mud like it's they almost like a cookie or a biscuit, but they make like a mud disc and they, you know, they have to eat that. And um yeah, I know and in certain parts of the country of uh Africa in different countries, the people have to take the cow dung because they can't unalive the cow to eat because that's their soul, you know, milk or whatever. And they'll cook that and eat that. So, no, people have not seen true poverty um, mm -hmm. in the United States. I will say this, though, we don't see it in the United States because we hide our poverty. Mm -hmm. We hide it very well. But there are places uh like um not calling any particular states out because it happened in every state but particularly there's a, a portion of uh near the appalachians in the appalachian mountains like west virginia area kentucky um tennessee certain parts of mississippi you'd be surprised how people in the united states live right. legit legit right. like the way I watch those kids go to school, some of them didn't even have shoes on. Mm -hmm. It was like, you. Know, I was like, I have it good here, but it's just. Uh, That's where it is, Cass, the Mississippi Delta. Yes, it is. It is incredibly poverty stricken and just, I mean. But see, they don't, we don't, we don't talk about it. America, remember, America runs a propaganda campaign. They don't talk mm -hmm. about that stuff. They don't show it, but they'll hurry up and stick a, like, as beautiful as Africa is, as mm -hmm. beautiful as the islands are, they'll yeah. stick it in when found some mess with a little nosy self. You see, she dropped out of that box and ain't say nothing. Uh, also, let me read this cash app. Thank you for this morning's entertainment. And I don't say names when I read the cash app. Thank you for your cash app. I appreciate it. Um, they don't show it because it's propaganda. They don't show it, but it's here. It's the world. In order for you to live at the level that you're living at, so so, mm -hmm. somebody has to live lower, if that right. makes sense. Yeah. So you can't live at your level of comfort. Even us in here, we're still exploiting the lower the lower class individuals. It's no mm -hmm. longer just about race. It's more about class. It's more about who has the, you know, so they told everybody, go get you a bachelor's degree <clears throat> and you'll make money and you'll live good and you'll do this. Take out all these student loans, blah, 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 right? So because they was creating the next the next class of poverty. That's how capitalism is funded. It's funded by impoverished and it's impoverished people. And it's very expensive to be poor. So when I say that, I, I think of or, uh, Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders, when they say it's expensive to be poor. For example, if I go to the hospital, I have health insurance. I, I won't get more than probably copay and all the extras. I probably have to pay like maybe three or four hundred dollars. Right. Listen to how to say that maybe three or four hundred dollars for somebody that's poor. They're going to get the whole bill because they don't have insurance. And then that for me where I can say maybe three or four hundred. That can mean the difference between whether or not they eat lunch at work for the next two or three months. That can mean the difference between a light bill and and, and, and not having electricity. So <clears throat> when you have something happen, it's very expensive to be poor because they're, you're not equipped to deal with the everyday struggles of life. And there's and, and we shame people and and i guess in a sense i've been kind of guilty of it with blaze's porch we shame people that's impoverished and it's really like a whole system working against you and the fact that you survived this long and when i say the system i mean globally the world is funded by capitalism i don't care if you're a communist i don't care if you a republic i don't care what you are it's all capitalism because at the end of the day we all trade global currency we all that's why they don't like cryptocurrency because it breaks up that global world bank, it breaks it up because they can't control cryptocurrency. They can't control it. It's not attached. It's detached. So they're trying to regulate it. So what I'm saying is 
Jeff Bezos would never come to my house and be comfortable. He would he would come to my house and be like, yuck. You know what I'm saying? But I'm comfortable in my house, right? I'm comfortable in my home. You comfortable in yours, Petty, Chase, and they comfortable. We're all comfortable in our in our spaces. Somebody else that maybe don't have quite as many things as I have will come and be like, oh, this is a really nice house. You, you live good, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? But in the grand scheme of things, we all impoverished. Jeff Bezos make like something like $8 million a minute. Let that sink in. A minute. Google it, y'all. What's up, Parade? I'm gonna go. Nope, I'm gonna go. Request in the box, I'm baby. gonna go. Yeah. Listen, listen, I right quick. I didn't listen, right me. quick. Dead was baby daddy. You want to know what he called and asked me? Did radio call me? <laughs> That's what I told him. He said, what you doing? I said, me and Kappa is on live talking about how you and radio is in cahoots. And why are we talking about it? You text me and you call me. <laughs> so we is cackling right now. He want to know, can I go on Facebook and share a post for him? <laughs> That's what That's what he called me for. <laughs> Y'all see what it. we go through. Y'all think it be a game. This is what we really go through. Yes. The, the men are called. Man, don't send them to the grocery store. You got to see what a big don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do I that just came FaceTime. from the grocery store. Don't, don't do, do that. that on FaceTime. Now, don't when you that. eat Perez, the whole world eat. So you can go pick out what you want. I'm just saying. I like. I just came. So you can't. You can't. You can't do that. Everybody, this is um Petty Row, our favorite creator, Row Collection, not collection. Row collection. collection, brother. Oh, Correct. what's going on? I'm collecting all gifts. Oh, no, baby, for that. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault, my fault, my fault. How y'all doing though? How this y'all doing? This is my doing? other account. I'ma follow you. This is my other account. Dang, you can have more than one account. Yeah, I got like twelve. So I know you forget like your password mm -hmm. sometimes. Nope, they all written down in a little book. Oh, written down. <laughs> I write Goodness. them down in a little book. That's terrible. Like I so, so I, I I can make me another one. And what should I call yeah. it? You uh petty roll official too. You only need one account. You, <laughs> you don't need now another one. Yeah, that's petty real brother. Who, no, who now another one? Who asking these questions? Down in the comment section, the llamas. Wait Remember, I, got a, I got a question right quick. What the hell is going on down there in the comments about this TD shelf and uh, Llama Kane? What is going on down there with y'all? Sorry, you got 36 accounts. TD shelf. What the hell is going on down there? Down there fighting with one of my llamas. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, hey, I better stop that. What the so heck? Y'all doing them 3.5 today? Nah, yeah. I don't do that on my live. You want to battle? <laughs> let's battle. Come on, let's battle. Let's battle. <laughs> See, you fighting with one of my llamas. So what happened was, I, I said to Petty in the comments, I said, what do I have to do to get unblocked? Because I got blocked a while back by one of the mods for saying something about blam, like probably about the food or something in her comments it was when that was going on and so then when i said that in the comments uh the llama said that maybe i shouldn't have been said something about blam that's why i got blocked and all that stuff so we just um, arguing about that <clears throat> um just you sound like marie sheree are you Ooh, marie don't sheree? say that no she don't no i'm my a little self. bit she I'm do not. sound like her no, friend. She, don't. she do no, yes no. she do no she a do bit. not just a little, a little drop. Yes, she no, do. Marie Sheree got kind of a heavier tongue. No, that no. <laughs> that ain't, <laughs> that ain't the same. That ain't, that ain't the same. That's not the okay, same. Okay, y'all stop fighting with T the chef. They had an uh, opinion. Did you go to the Blammies? Did I meet you? T? <laughs> no, it, no, I just seen everything online. Oh, oh but, how but you uh, the food was good. I, not, I didn't say nothing food. about the food being good. I said about the um, well, Petty said the food wasn't good. Not that but I said one. something about <laughs> the first one. Not the one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Y'all fighting from the first one. And Grammy? he didn't have warmers on at the second one, right? He brought the food in warm, hot. They brought it in after they cooked it. Now you have to have okay, so let me let me you have to go by the county standard, right? The county standard for his area for Atlanta may be different than where it's at everywhere else. If you got that's called hot holding. So what you asking about is called hot holding. If you're gonna have food that you're gonna serve over a duration of time of like two hours, typically you have to have burners and or ice. So you have to keep cold, cold, hot, hot, and you got to keep it out of what they call the temperature danger zone. But if I'm frying fish and you come to my fish fry and I plunk that fish in the thing and y'all going to eat that within 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't have to have hot holding because I'm frying the fish and serving it to you. They brought it in hot. That's why he didn't have burners. He didn't need burners because your ass okay. is going to eat it in 30 minutes and be done. It wasn't an all day. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't yeah. an all day affair. It was okay. eat and be quiet and go sit down and watch the award be handed out. But yeah, so that's why I'm talking about the first one. one. Okay, okay I'm well, I've been, I've been, like I've been following Petty like since um, I've been following her for a long time, and then after I got blocked from there, I was just like, okay, I got blocked. But I fuck with Petty, so that's why I asked her to unblock me. That's it. Okay, so Petty, what I'm gonna do is I'm finna I'm finna unblock Dang, you. Petty Rose, stop why. blocking people. <laughs> You need to um, send a love offering. I'm going to subscribe. So no, don't you go sit up here and lie and subscribers over here. you go sit up here and oh. lie. In the comments, you talking shit about Bram. That's why me and one of the other llamas jumped on your ass. I wasn't talking, talking shit. About, oh, no, I said exactly what I said. I said to Patty. You talking shit to one of the llamas talking about what is you. something about Blam. That's what happened. You I never said what I said in the comments. What did I say? Who said something? No, you sitting up here and you going to ask. You asked one of the fucking llamas about what you said. I never said what I said. I asked Patty. I never asked no you mama, no mama, no mama, no mama, no mama, We cannot mama, hear y'all. One at a time. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I brought the subject up. Hold on. I did Good. see what she said there. Are you Blam and Petty's handler? I don't necessarily see that as a negative thing because they was going back and forth about the subject. So right. they, they asking was asking why the llama is speaking up on my behalf and on Bland's behalf because I didn't see none of the comments. I saw them sporadically and I couldn't yeah, put them yeah. together. That's why I asked. So that necessarily wasn't nothing negative. The they were going be back and forth. So many fights, man. Llamas, what is we doing in these comments? That why we be fighting? Like Turn let up. the lady have an opinion. It's okay, Tasha. Quit being well, spiteful. You know they can't get in a box to defend themselves. So but you what know the, the llamas is gonna. But it's I'm nothing here. to defend. I'm here if they feel. But listen, you know if you jump on somebody, the llamas jumping right along with you. You know this. Now you got they the llamas be. being bad in the comment section. It wasn't me. I was defending one of one of the llamas, and it wasn't. I chef. know. I know. Nah, it was llama king. Intel. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, me and Lama okay. yeah. Gang, yeah. But it's it's okay. It's all right. They was in there putting comments in the thing. I didn't see it. I didn't. I didn't see all of it. Let me put it that way. I didn't yeah. see all of it. Like, I was see, trying to we, see we love Blam T T. I love. understand. I understand. So, I wasn't no, trying no. to like come at nobody. All I did was ask Petty that, and it's and we other people can feel how they feel like. My name says T the Chef. So if I hear about food being cold or nasty, then I'm going to okay, say Okay, but then, something. then you know, but, then if you a chef, then you know that what I just rattled off is safe, safe, what safe serve, standard yeah, and protocol for all I food kitchens. All so I was sitting there at the second Blams, and if I thought that he was putting people at risk for food poisoning, I personally... I didn't say nothing about it. Ooh, wasn't it? Ooh. Yeah, that's what happened when you enjoying the food. That's all. I'm just talking okay. about them enjoying it. But yeah, she talking about the the first the first blame is I, wasn't I came on and said that we had to go to the Waffle House right directly after we left the blame is on the first ah. because ah. yeah. It mm -hmm. was, I mean, you know, I it look. I point. think so she repeated what I said, so I, I, I take I take that she was repeating what I said. So I think he still should keep doing it and just you know increase the cost so that people can have that ballroom experience that they want. But I think at this point, no matter what he do, it's always gonna be somebody with something to say. 
Oh, wait. They, they talk about the, the uh, Grammys. They talk about people, red carpet dresses. They People are, neg we're negative creatures. Yeah. That is what we do is we be negative because, I mean, I walked away in, from the Blammies and I said, this was an experience of a lifetime. More than likely, I'll never be in a room with a whole bunch of TikTokers that I rock with virtually ever again if he don't ever do it. You know, again, you see what I'm saying? So I walked away with an experience. I didn't go saying, hey, I'm going to have a wonderful, you know, steak dinner. And you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't pay for steak dinner. I didn't pay for And it's the second blemish. The tickets was what, $70, $75, whatever, yeah. whatnot. I didn't pay for red carpet steak dinner stuff. Now, if the, was 15, Go on mute. if the tickets was fifteen dollars I would have I would have expected an ice sculpture. I would have expected food, uh, you know, fruit, fruit scat, you know, all around. People with champagne, uh, servers. I would have expected that if I paid three thousand dollars for two people to sit down at the table. You know what I'm saying? I would have, right. but let me tell you, anybody that's ever went to a political fundraiser or dinner, the food is terrible. You don't go to them things because the food is good. You paying $5,000 a plate because that money is going to the political person you're supporting. And okay. to rub elbows. Exa and to rub and the network elbows. is exactly. So anybody that go to a place looking for food and you, uh, good food and you ain't at a Michelin star restaurant, Baby, you you setting yourself up for failure. That man, Blam is not a Michelin chef. He's not, you know, Chef Ramsay. Yeah, he, I don't he, care the, what kind of chef he was. That food was good. I went back two times. The second, the second one, um, yeah, because Radio said the food was good. He enjoyed it. I don't think I ate. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I ate because my dress was so tight. I was like, if I eat, then oh I'm gonna have to God. fart, and if I fart, I'm gonna blow the back of this dress out. So oh I don't think God. I ate. But I drank though. I did. I did I, I didn't drink, but I ate two times. <laughs> I ain't want to blow the back of my dress out. Let me tell you, you probably will get that at the the basement bash, some shrimp and waiters, you know, all that type Girl, of Girl, they not shit. finna bring no lukewarm <laughs> shrimp cocktail of me and blow my guts up as you inside. I wouldn't eat nothing. But remember, police was supposed to be cooking. I know police you lying. I know you lying. No. <laughs> Y'all didn't know that? No. Police said she was in charge of the food. Child with no. No. Not with that I butt swear. butter. You don't think the nails? I I'm didn't not know that. that. Yes. Y'all don't remember police. Come on I now. Somebody in the that. comment section. Do y'all remember police saying she was over the food? Being over the food and cooking is two different things. We're, okay, so you think she was going to take that money from them people and be honest, Petty? Or you think she was going to cook that food in, in North Carolina and drive? Petty. Or you think she was going to cook that food in, in North Carolina and drive? Girl, you got to go. Truck. Girl, you got to go. Truck. Somebody drop truck. Why, truck, quit. Why are you recording at the same time, bro? You can't do that. You can't record and come in the box. Now, you think she was going to take that money and do the right thing? Or you think she was going to cook all that stuff at home and, and them roaches were going to be dancing all up under that foil wrapping and throw that in her trunk and then drive six hours to wherever, uh, wherever the basement ball was going to be? And that's heating up with that exhaust up in her trunk, not on ice, not warm, not nothing. And they was going to get there and all of them was going to have button mouth diarrhea straight up. I'm, I'm already I telling mean, you what was going to happen. I mean, I think she was going to get somebody to cater it. I don't think she was going to cook. Petty, she was going to take them people. Stop playing with me, Petty. She was going to take them people munchies. I ain't say she was going to get gonna a take them people caterer. munchies. I didn't say she was gonna get a good caterer. I just said she was gonna get. No, no, wait a minute. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm the location. Petty got yeah. grace for Polisa, but ain't got grace for Leola. Now Leola would pay for a caterer because she wouldn't want nobody to she talk about her. She don't use her so. daddy money. <laughs> but Polisa, baby, you getting fried? You getting fried chicken wings that squishy? No, you gonna get some <laughs> gizzards. She'll be like, put no, them in the trunk. They'll finish frying gizzards. on the way up there. <laughs> You gonna get some fried gizzards fooling with Polisa, and some chicken livers or something like that. You wasn't gonna get the actual chicken leg. You might get the chicken liver. <laughs> Patty in here straight playing in our faces now. What? Come on, baby. no, I'm not. Uh, you, 
She was gonna she was gonna provide a decent meal. Come I didn't on. say that. I, I said refused. she was gonna get somebody to cater. I didn't say it was gonna be a good caterer. I just said she was gonna get somebody it to It was gonna be city cat. Yeah, you're right. You and they fingernails right. be too long and too dirty to be touching. What about city cat feet though? She got the longest damn feet. I swear that I swear that lady wear a size 17 shoe. That's how she was gonna mix y'all salad up, because you know you was gonna go to be nosy. No, the hell I wasn't. You was going to the basement. Stop lying. You You already been told, baby daddy. We got us another event to go to. (laughs) No, the hell. Y'all put a one in the comment section if you think Petty was going to go just to be nosy. Mess around and get salmonella poison and go walking in the door. Petty be like, Petty came back on Monday. All right, y'all. So the basement bash happened. <laughs> Hell no. Petty, but she going to be in the hospital for food poisoning. Hell no. <laughs> y'all hit the cash out. 3.5 for the 3.5. <laughs> Honey, they been there put some anthrax over in my shit. Hell no. <laughs> Petty was going to start COVID-20 messing around in the basement. Hell no. All the pushers would be live. Come on, y'all. We got to go get Patty. She in the hospital. Hell no. Put some 3.5 on the 3.5. Oh, where your brother go? He ran off. He was in the car. He had all that wind blowing. He ain't need to be on here no way. Driving and um, online. Child, yes. I'm still hosting. But um, she about to lose me in about 10 minutes because I got something I got to go do. Yeah, I got to go wash my ass. I got to go to work. Yeah, Skylar got me all mercy. <laughs> Give me 3.5 on the 3.5. Yes, yeah, uh, baby. That 3.5 on the 3.5. We need it. So you mean to tell me, Petty, you curiosity would have kept you away from the basement ball? I'm not going to that shit. I, Blaze said that they was going to televise it on the network. So I was just going to get somebody else code so I could watch it. Where, where the network at? I don't know. What word network? Well, you know, if, if, if the network, if the network was gonna be ready, then he was gonna put it on. He was gonna scream it on live. So if the network is up and running, he gonna stream it. That's what I heard. Then we need one person to pay for the stream so that yeah. way we all can watch it on Discord or something. It's, yeah, and we are gonna scream it on Zoom or something. The network. If y'all ain't saying nitwit like that, I don't want to talk to y'all, period. It's nitwit, because that's how you say it. And then I'm going to get my nitwit up and running. <laughs> and he put himself in a CEO, co, co-CEO. Listen, co-CEO. Let's talk about that for a second. So who is the who's the first CEO? Then? You can't be, but you can't be a co-CEO because CEO stands for what? Chief executive, Chief executive officer. Yes. It's hard. You can't hire. You wouldn't have co-CEO. You would have something like co-founder. Usually the chief executive officer is the top dog in any business. And you only executive officer if you truly are, for real, honestly, a publicly traded company or a publicly recognizable company. You don't, you, people run around and throw that title CEO out and, and you, and your books is in the red. You're not a CEO. You ain't earned not a dude over Roku. That's a CEO. Okay. But you rarely, I ain't never seen co-CEO. Now I've seen um, incumbent or I've seen, you know, like a CEO finna be replaced. So they got yeah. a new one, interim CEO. I've seen that. I've never seen co-CEO because most people in them positions of power, baby, they not finna relinquish nothing to no co-nothing. Yeah. Because that mean a split of some money mm-hmm. and they not finna split no money. And I know, and, and Jay, the Jay to to Thiel, CEO is chief executive officer, COO is chief operating officer, and CFO is chief financial officer. Baby, yeah. I know my business. Now. You know, he know his financiers. He know all about the financiers. I've never yeah. seen a co CEO. Not saying it never existed, but I've never seen it. I've seen a CEO. I've seen an under CEO. Well, this is a, baby, this is something new. We don't know nothing about this because he on a different level than we on. So yep. maybe he just schooling us, Um, you know. Now, where I'm from, CTO means chief transformation officer. But I, I don't know if that I haven't really seen a lot of CTOs, but that's what CTO stand for. 
chief transfer transformation officer when they transforming something or putting are you oh you are ceo okay do you have a co-ceo and can i be your co-ceo how much you paying Well, the co the other CEO might be whoever put the money up. Chief Technology might, Officer. Okay. There they might be the first, the first CEO and then he under that. So to make yourself look good, he said he is the co CEO, but the real CEO is the one that spent the money. So when it's shared, a co CEO shares the responsibility with the C so they both co CEOs. Like you got two co CEOs. Since it's 50 50. No, the founder is not always the CEO. Absolutely not. Usually the founder divest themselves after so long and they go, they go pull the money up. They get the money and they sit down. You got CEO. If you're going to be, if you're going to be on that level, you're going to have a board of directors. You're going to have. Listen, why is we having this conversation about $65,000? You got to <laughs> this shit for $65,000. <laughs> Okay, Ow. we ain't they ain't got none of this shit for no six five thousand dollars. You ain't got no board. You ain't got no CFO, no CNN, no ABC, no CBS. You ain't got none of that shit for six five thousand dollars. Cause he, cause he got a net. <laughs> you ain't got none of that shit. I wonder if I can get your brother a spot on a net. Mm. Yeah, I've been I his head up. Y'all need to cut it. I love your brother and I want him to be on the net. <laughs> that would be something. That sound like something Blaze would try to do, try to offer him a spot thinking he gonna tell my business. <laughs> the Petty Row Business Hour. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Telling on Petty. <laughs> Your brother could build a whole following off telling on Petty. <laughs> he sure could. He really, really could. Mm -hmm. but it's a lot of people out here that don't like me. Nah, it was it was mostly llamas and pushers in his life. If anybody was over there from basement, they didn't make themselves known. And he didn't say nothing. He ain't say nothing foul about you. That's your brother. He love you. He wouldn't do oh, that. I know that. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying that it's a lot of people out here that would wish that he would tell some shit about me for real. Um, you can't have a board with zero like dollars. Uh-huh. You can have a board with zero dollars. And most not-for-profits, their boards are voluntary. Absolutely. It don't take a lot of money to start a company. I'm just talking about, like, when you when you power broken, brokering out here in the world, you know, we throw that CEO title around, but it's really, really just a sole proprietor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can call yourself a CEO if you want, but you're the executive officer of what? two iPhones and a tablet. I mean, like what liquidity do your company have? That is it. You know, like I wouldn't call myself a CEO because I, I'm not power brokering like enough to sell off stocks to shake the stock market and stuff. When I think of CEOs, I'm thinking of, you know, Bezos, Buffett, you know, yeah, Gates. Just put People owner think. by your name and go yeah. on. Yeah. Owner. owner, sole proprietor. Yeah. yeah. Just put that yeah. by your name and go on by your business, baby. Honey said they have a vision. <laughs> they blind child. <laughs> they they got uh Randa B. Gillis glasses on. They got Randa B. Gillis, baby. They focus. Yeah, they he got focus. Man on Vigo because he said they thought his eyeballs was boobs. <laughs> they do look like titties though, if you look at it. I'm fucking bad, Patty. 